very early in the morning, the rooster sends out his call and the chickens begin to wake. They have been sleeping on their roosts, holding with their toes. Wake up, chickens. It is daytime. The chickens jump and fly from their roosts. First the rooster, and then the hens. They are white leghorn chickens, wide awake now, and waiting for breakfast. Here comes Farmer Brown, bringing grain for the chickens. He opens the door and scatters the grain about. The hens begin to pick it up at once. But the rooster calls the hen to share his grain. The rooster is larger than the hen. He has a big red comb on his head and long curly tail feathers. Chickens pick up the grain with their sharp beaks. Chickens have no teeth, so they swallow their food whole. But chickens also eat gravel and grit, which help grind up the hard food in their gizzards. Now let us watch this hen as she goes for a drink. She takes a beak full of water and lifts up her head so the water can run down her throat. The chicken's eyes are on the sides of its head. This hen looks at us first with one eye and then with the other. In the chicken brooder house nearby are kept the baby chicks only two days old and hear them peep. The baby chicks keep dry and warm here near a stove covered with a broad metal hood. Little chicks are always hungry, so the farmer always keeps chick food in their food trough. Shall we see where little chicks come from? The farmer's boy carefully gathers the freshly laid eggs from the nests where the hens laid them. Later, Farmer Brown puts the eggs into a chest of drawers called an incubator. Inside the incubator, the eggs are kept warm. A week goes by. Every day the eggs are turned. The farmer now takes an egg to see whether a chick is beginning to form in it. Inside the weak old egg, at the top, we see a black speck, which is the little chick's eye. And now, nearly three weeks after this egg was put into the incubator, the tiny chick is almost ready to come out. The chick begins pecking a hole through the shell with its sharp beak. Now the shell is well broken and the baby chick rests. The shell is almost ready to break apart. Another rest before breaking through. See the beak the chick uses in pecking its way out. Nearly out at last, but still very weak. It's hard work getting all the way out. Some of these other chicks have been out of their shells for a while and they run about in the incubator drawer. This chick took all day to peck its way out of the shell. A day more in the warm incubator for the chicks to dry out and Farmer Brown is ready to take them across to the brooder house. Inside the brooder house are the baby chicks covered with fuzzy yellow down. These chicks are a week old. White wing feathers are growing in place of the down. And these have been out of the eggs for two weeks. Their tail feathers are growing too. Two months old chickens and almost grown up. Some farmers let a hen sit on eggs until they hatch into chicks. Mother hen keeps her baby chicks warm out from under mother's wing. And now the mother and her chicks come off the nest to eat. 
These are Plymouth Rock chickens. Farmer Brown keeps ducks on his poultry farm, too. Hidden in the middle of this bush is a mother duck sitting on her eggs. Can you see her? Off for something to eat. Her eggs are well hidden while she is away. Nearby in another bush is a mother duck and her newly hatched ducklings. She leads her ducklings out of their nest. Two of the eggs haven't hatched. Mother duck calls to her babies to follow her into the water. The bank is high and the ducklings are small, but they clamber down as fast as their weak little legs will carry them. They don't need any lessons in swimming, but they still swim close to their mother. A duck has webbed feet which make good paddles for swimming. These ducklings have no feathers yet, only soft, fluffy down. Mother duck scoops up food from the water in her broad, flat bill. The ducklings, too, dive down for bits of food from the bottom of the pond. Here they find seeds and plants and tiny bugs to eat. Inside their flat bills are ridges which hold the food back while the water strains out. Here we see the ridges along the edges of a duck's bill. Who would know that this was the duckling's first day in the water? But until their feathers grow, they must not stay in long. They are glad to go out now and waddle after their mother through the grassy meadow. This duckling will get lost. But he hears his mother call and runs to catch up with her. Now for a feast. After Mother Duck makes sure all her babies are here, she scoops up the grain with her broad bill, although it's better for feeding in water. Her webbed feet, too, are better for swimming than for walking. Time for Mother Duck and her ducklings to waddle back to their nest. So, following closely behind their mother, they go back to their well-hidden nest in the bush again. On another nest in Farmer Brown's barn is a family of geese. Father Gander has been watching over them ever since they first hatched. Now for something to eat. Baby goslings are bigger than ducklings and baby chicks. These goslings are two weeks old and they know their way about. Over the garden path they go to the green meadow. Father Gander and Mother Goose watch as the goslings have their dinner. They peck the fresh green blades of grass. Although already two weeks old, the goslings' feathers have not yet begun to grow. Geese have longer necks than ducks. The gander hears something. He hears a turkey gobbler who flew over the fence of the turkey yard. Only a small flock of turkey cocks and hens are kept on this farm. The turkey cock guards over his hens well. But Farmer Brown keeps a large flock of younger turkeys and feeds them well, so they will grow large for Thanksgiving dinners. These baby turkeys, just out of their eggshells in the incubator, are being fattened for Christmas dinners. It is early evening, and the chickens have already gone to roost. Farmer Brown closes the chicken house door. The gander watches over his family on their nest in the barn. Mother duck and her ducklings are safe in their nest, well hidden in the bush. The turkeys are the very last to go to sleep. When it gets dark, they go to their roosts in the branches of trees, and all is quiet on the farm for the night. <laughs>